हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी कंपोजिट चार्ट्स सपोज आई एम टेकिंग ए कंपाउंड शाफ्ट हेयर कंपाउंड शार्ट कंपोजिट शाफ्ट वन एंड वन द सेम थिंग दिस इज वन शाफ्ट एंड इट इज सराउंडेड बाय द अदर शाफ्ट लाइक दिस like this right this is surrounded by the other shaft is it okay so this is one shaft of one material and there is another shaft another shaft also this is some another shaft this is not hollow this is some another shaft is there this is some other material like this right so two shafts are there one is inner shaft and one is a uh, shaft which is enveloping this inner shaft right and this is rigidly fixed here and the material can be any material can be there like suppose this is of copper material and this is of steel right say this is uh, number 1 and this is number 2 and a torque is applied here a torque is applied on the shaft torque is applied on the shaft and we want to find out the angle of twist and the torque shared by each shaft so this is the one shaft and this is the another shaft like this right so this is one shaft and this is another shaft and say the length of the both the shafts is same and a torque is applied here t how to analyze this problem how to analyze this problem say there is angle of twist here angle of twist is like this angle of twist is suppose theta theta is the angle of twist right so the upper part of the upper shaft upper part of the upper shaft move from suppose a to a dash and upper part of the lower shaft inner shaft moves from b to b dash so it moves from b to b dash and it moves from a to a dash and the angle of twist is theta and this is our center and we want to analyze this case right and the total torque applies is t t torque is applied on the shaft combined shaft right now you have to compare i, I always say that compare with the direct stresses condition of direct stresses compound composite uh, bars compare it with the composite bars what happen what will happen when we we have already studied actually so what we have studied about the composite shafts and what was the case there let us uh, revise that just for a uh, few minutes uh, what is uh, the composite shaft for a direct stresses right or direct uh, load was applied so uh, we have taken two shafts like this suppose this was the one shaft and this was the another shaft and these two shafts were rigidly fixed by a plate or rod like this this is rigidly fixed and a force is applied on this right this is one shaft this is another shaft right and a force was applied on this what happened to this right so there was deformation there was deformation in this in these bars and after deformation suppose the condition was this remind this after deformation condition was this there is, there is some elongation in this bar two bar and there is some elongation in this bar right and this is the elongation in one bar delta l1 and this is the elongation in bar 2 that is delta l2 
Now, what are the equations available for this? This force will be shared by 1 and 2 depending on their material properties like modulus velocity, right? And the total deformation because it is a rigid bar, because it is a rigid bar, after deformation the condition will remain same and the plate will remain, remain horizontal, vertical, right? So, this deformation in 1 will be equal to deformation of in 2. So, two equations we have obtained from this that delta L1 will be equal to delta L2 remind it you will be uh, knowing that that P P1 L1 upon A1 E1 should be equal to P2 L2 upon A2 E2 this was uh, one of the equation and other equation was that this total load will be shared by some some by P1, some by P2, depending on their material properties. So P will be equal to P1 plus P2, and by this we can find out the P1 and P2, and then the stresses in the bars, right? So this was the case with the uh, direct loading was there that deformation in the bars was equal, and the load was shared, right? Here also the same case is there. One plate is our copper, we have considered copper as one, steel as two, and there is some deformation. Now, you can see here that the angle of twist of the inner part, inner shaft, is equal to the angle of twist of the outer shaft. You can see here B O B dash, the angle B O B dash, this is the angle of twist of the inner shaft, that will be equal to the angle of twist of the upper, upper uh, outer shaft that is a o a dash a o a dash and that is equal to theta so angle of twist in both is same similar to that that total uh, the deformation for both the bars was same so we can write that for this case theta 1 should be equal to theta 2 because both have twisted with the same angle right or we can write you can you know that theta theta is given by T L upon G J. This formula should be remembered always. Very important formula. T L upon G J. That T one L one upon G one J one will be equal to T two L two upon G two J two. L may be same. It may be different. So this is the first equation for solving all the unknowns of this composite system. This is the first equation, right? Next equation was the load was shared by equally, not equally, some of the load is taken by shaft 1 and some of the load is taken by shaft 2 depending on their properties. Similarly, here also we have applied a torque T. Torque T applied, some of the torque will be shared by uh, the copper tube and some will be shared by the steel tube. So we can write that total torque applied T will be equal to T1 plus T2, T1 plus T2. So this is the second equation and using these two equations, using these two equations we can find out T1 and T2, so solving 1 and 2 because there are two unknowns basically T1 and T2 and uh, solving 1 and 2 you can find out T1 and T2 and other things can be obtained using the finding the T1 and T2. So, solving 1 and 2 we will get T1 will be known and T2 will be known to us, right? So, T1 and T2 can be obtained using the this procedure of the composite shafts that the angle of twist will be same for both the shafts and the torque will be shared by uh, shaft copper tube, copper shaft and steel tube depending on their properties.